The new Angular signal-based API doesn't provide any debouncing or throttling support out of the box, but there is a workaround. Imagine you have a query signal and whenever the value of it changes, it triggers an HTTP call via a brand new experimental HTTP resource function. Unfortunately, right now, frequent value changes inside the query signal will cause the server request spamming. However, you can leverage RxJS along with RxJS interop functions in order to achieve the throttling effect. The only thing you have to do is to convert the signal you want to throttle to observable. And then you can apply RxJS operators like debounce time to apply the throttling effect to the values stream. After that, you just have to convert this RxJS stream back to signal by using the to signal function. And in such a way, you will get a throttled signal that you can use inside your HTTP resource function to reduce the amount of the HTTP calls. For more Angular tips, check out my YouTube channel. See you there.